You can only see one of my eyes. <laughs> I have cut it out just like Kamaravi did. Things are serious now. Huh? Hey, did you guys hear something? No, Mio. It was nothing. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In the last episode, we arrived here oh, at Kevis Castle. Now, we have our mission to take the Annihilator down. But, of course, a little bit of spring cleaning here and there, we have changed some of our classes around. Noah is now the gunsmith, Mio is now the, um, the medic, and Lands as now the load exile. Let's got our healer, we've got our defender, and we've got a new attacker in hand. So, let's not waste any more time, take out the guarders, because the machines are probably going to overrun us eventually, be that in real life or in this game. So I'd say, take out these guys and uh, put things on their heads. Eventually, when the sky enough becomes down. <laughs> Buddy, it was funny in Xenoblade 2, it is still funny here. I'm so glad they they brought the ridiculous animation back. You know, I would like to imagine the Queen has security cameras. Yeah. Surely you would think, hmm, my soldiers are being made to do flippy dippies. This is most disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> but also entertaining at the same time. So I think. Well, you know, at least we're putting on a show. Mm -hmm. Can't deny that. We also have Ashira here because after looking through uh, Lander's arts in which we have uh, studied, it's pretty much what we thought. Ashira is pretty much like the female version of Dunban. And you know what? I will never freaking argue with that. More Dunban representation in this game, and happier I'll be. Mm. The only thing that can make this better is if you bought Ricky and Vanguard, and maybe Ricky's tenant in this could be there too. And maybe one of these days we could have a volleyball party with Ricky. In which he'd be the ball. And also maybe at a Ryan time, but you know. I still haven't figured out what damage Link does. Uh, well, I could look it up if you wish. Because I tried looking up in the menu and there wasn't anything for it, and the big buffs are buffs. Let me have a look to see. This is still a blind let's play. I just guys know we're still going on as we are. Tyon's ready to move on. <laughs> Alright, so he I but here's the thing though, Izarugi is a pretty goddamn good healer in his own right. Yeah. Unless you wanna have two magic gunners, then by all means, because that's the only thing which he hasn't got for a uh, healer stat yet. I'll keep them as is. Okay, fair enough. Whoa, check this place out. We have arrived at the west gate and the hangar passageway. We're the music don't help, can I say? No. It's almost haunting almost. Like, almost like this place is possessed. You itching to get wrecked? You're dealing with me! You're a lifesaver! And also, one thing that I would like to point out as we go on. We are seeing some enemy weapons that we have not actually come across or had the opportunity to wield ourselves. I would mean, like the guy with the punches for a second, or the knuckle dusters.
Well, he was morbid, but hey yo. And also find out what damage link does. What's it do? Basically, it's a deeper for enemies. It shares the pain. Shares the pain. So basically, whatever damage do you give one enemy, the others feel it too. Hmm. This is I'll be using this. Guys, get ready to fight! You do know I heard you, right? That those guys in the back can't, but I do. I like how we're taking on one guy and then lands being a badass. Like, no, nah, no, nah, man, I'll take him over here. This guy's mine. Sorry, guys, you're a bit of a bad time to be a rescuer. You're the worst superhero in the world, you know that? I can see it now. Do not fear, Procrastinator Man is here! Why is everyone dead? <laughs> dum de dum <laughs> I'm just gonna go away now. Land, I don't think you have ever had, had the opportunity to look cooler. Yeah. But still, I love it. You know what? I can honestly see now why they called Sparks, because our team is sparking up a storm with this. <laughs> Hanger upper. Main gate. It's like a, a beta name for Ryan's art. Hanger upper. <laughs> it's either that or that's what he says is when he goes home. I'm gonna hang up on my jacket. <laughs> Don't laugh. That was awful. <laughs> but then again, though, when am I not? Dear God, the sheer God. Thank God there was no people on that. that or below that. <laughs> yeah. We got time to kick back a what do you know? We got what is pretty much like a safe room. Mm-hmm. Intro music here. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we'll have any fast travel options here. And we are pretty much infiltrating a palace here. I mean, no matter what we get out of this, life is definitely going to change, so insert that guitar riff here. Yeah. Keep away, you were a daredevil. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making a joke about that because she was stuck on that song earlier today. Might have been, yeah. Yeah. This is so tense, man. Guys, get ready to fight. Yeah, about to say, I feel like I feel like Do those guys really think that we're going to just ignore that? I know the other enemies have at some point, but we ain't. I get the fact that you're kicking my ass, but why'd you have to make me look so silly? Let me die with dignity! <laughs> I don't want to be seen as the Catherine Wheel on the day I die!
We're getting combos really quickly. We are. It is insane. But then again, though, when you have seven people who can do different things at once, you're kind of going to go that way. Honestly, I have been tempted on a few opportunities to be like, what would happen if I say everyone's going to be Ephil? Everyone's going to be the Flash Fencer, or everyone's going to be the Healer. Or a six Noahs. Oh my god, you... We're going to carry that joke home, aren't we? We've got to do it at least one time in this LB. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. We'd have six Noahs. <laughs> six Noahs, and we're having a Red Jacket Club. Oh, hearing that, hearing that art is, it makes me happy. What art? Blossom dance. <laughs> Especially with that twang. <laughs> and not in an American accent a la X. Like Nagi. <laughs> yeah. Blossom dance. Like, no. Prong inflection. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Green diode. Yep. Uh. Hello, yes, we are seven geners <laughs> going around our normal general duties. Demon Slayer! De Demon Slayer! Demon Slayer! <laughs> Trust me, a long haired beautiful man is smiling somewhere. As is his sister. You get a rank up for the Nupon squad. Let's keep going. Man, I feel, I again, the unease feeling is coming back. Yeah, I've been feeling it ever since we entered the castle. It's like, I'm just, I'm feeling nothing but anxiety right now. I'm, because for me, and I don't, I don't want to go into too many spoilers here, or I don't want to give away too much, but I feel like coming up, this is where either the game is going to go one of either three ways. One, it's going to justify itself, it's going to up itself, or this is where the game is make or break for me. Mm -hmm. I think players who know a bit about the original Xenoblade will understand why. Ah yes, now you see what you gotta do. The ladder you went up just now. Cause the elevator brought down on the little bridge. I see what you did there, Monolith, and Tyon, as always, was expecting it. <laughs> I know what this is going to do, so I'm just going to stay up here and let you guys waste your time. I'm happy dancing. Wow, he spectacularly missed. That Mechon did. Wow. He was running in place and then just immediately turned around. <laughs> Like you, that was an epic dodge right there. Unique monsters behind you. Should we kill him? Now we can follow the route above. That should get us over to the elevator. We Ventral Dominator Forsaken <laughs> Arbiter. Well, I'll leave it to you. I'll lure them in. I said them. <laughs> I wasn't lying. Well, they like to 
inflict bleed pretty quickly. Okay, guys, can you not go after her to tie on immediately, please? Let the boy live. Or me. Don't go after me either. Yeah. Can you go after the blue guys, please? Santa, what are you doing? Why are you guys not taking the aggro? I'm I'm surprised. Wow, yeah. God damn. Guys, I'm nearly dead. Help. I oh, no, that's it, we're dead. No, yep, yep, all dead. What is Mio doing? Where is she? I can't see her on screen. Nope, she's dead. I'm meant to be the defender, but I'm running away. So alright guys, I didn't leave you to die, I just did the thing. Right. Anyway, let's run away. And also, um, we haven't checked Ouroboros for a second. Maybe we can do that next episode. We will be back, Mekon. No, we will be back. I was going to ignore you, but now I'm not. It just looks like your animation was doing that. <laughs> just you spinning was breaking, toppling, and then launching him. Wow. <laughs> Class acquired. All right. So lands and you, you can get different ones now, too. No, what they found is a ladder. Eventually. Lands. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Raylan's my biggest weakness. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Elevator. Blocked by a bunch of mech on. Very poorly. And Gale Slash as well, and Blossom Dance. Oh! <laughs> this year is just a dumb band fan. Yeah. Where is Electric Gunbuster? I need to see Gunbuster. Rank up the lands. Is it? It's a shiny. No, it's not. It wanted to be. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be pretty mech on, but now I'm not. In fact, I'm just going to die. I know the Levenesses, but it's hard not to call them mech on. I know, especially with the design, <laughs> where, we, where we are, and what universe we're in. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine they're called different things because of, like, the new world and whatnot, but, man, it's like going to different regions and then saying, oh, my God, that's a Pikachu. No, that's not a Pikachu. That is a Pikatata. <laughs> you know, everyone knows that. It is a Pikachu Karaba. <laughs> a Chupacachu.
think that's where you were initially. Or can that elevator be done as something else? Because it is treated as a point of interest. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's another way. Yeah, go on, press it. No harm in pressing it. I really wish it would squish someone down there. <laughs> it does. You just don't hear it. <laughs> if a tree falls in the forest, does anyone hear it? Does anyone care? <laughs> you just hear a, huh, what's that? <laughs> oh, I think Frank died. <laughs> hey, where's Frank? Ain't seen him in a while. Huh. There's black ooze coming underneath the, the elevator where Frank was. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's on break. <laughs> anyway, let's go up. Surprised Lance knows how to use this. Oh god. A lift going in this direction from an ether mine? Yep. This can only be good. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I wonder the maintenance hatch should be on the far side of this area. Um. Can we just look at these things for a sec? Oh, boy. <laughs> Do we go the unique way or the easy way? Well, man, I can't. Uh, it's very weird for me in this one for a particular moment. Yeah. Because I want to say my bit, but at the same time, I. It's also one of the reasons why I have so much anxiety right now. Yeah. Just to go a bit behind the scenes before we advance, what, this is the this is the part of the game that I have been most anticipated to get to. Also, it seems that there's a door behind you. And judging by the mini map, this is it reminds me of just one. Of the <laughs> Hi. Oh, I thought it'd be like the storage hangar in Galahad. <laughs> in which you could just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Just using Tornado Blade and then just hearing the sound effect. <laughs> Soaring Tempest. Yeah. <laughs> Tornado Blade is from X. <laughs> I know. Tornado Blade. <laughs> Tornado Blade. Also, it's very funny when you hear Adam Howden say that. Your mass on a part of Mio. But man, yeah. Like, I've been so antsy to play this portion of the game. I've been loving it and dreading it at the same time. Yeah. But at the same time, though, I've got. I. I have faith in Monolith and how they're going to do this, but. Oh, man, there's still that. That little thing in the back of the head, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But seeing how the game has built itself up, I the game's got a good track record. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Whoa! He just took out that mech on. Should we attack him? Yep. Let's do it. No. You killed our robotic operating buddy! If only we had an acronym for him! 
We don't know what to call him. We thought of calling him Billy Bob the Robo, but clearly we couldn't. How about calling him an egg? He... I don't know, man. I mean, will people get that? That just seems a bit old-fashioned. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone, anyone at all who played Xenoblade would honestly get that? I don't think they would. Of course, I joke. Of course, they know. <laughs> I have just made the people who don't know what we're talking about feel silly. Don't worry. What it's worth, we haven't played that game fully anyway. <laughs> We will do in the future, absolutely. There is still a lot of monolith history in which I still would want to experience just for the sheer case of I can see monolith's evolution. Like a Pokemon. Shira, you are very much enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah. I get to kill all of the Kavesi soldiers. It's only fitting that she's coming with us. Yep. I'm probably the one who's crazy enough to do it anyway. <laughs> but not one Rossi hiding. Zeon, probably too loyal to Kavesi to do anything. Izarugi, probably dealing with Lambda right now. Teach, uh, he's got to take care of the young'uns. Mm-hmm. Ethel's of course Ethel. Valdi, uh, too young. Far, far too young. And plus, fighting robots isn't really his shtick. Yeah. He? He's mostly about making them. He would not be happy being in here fighting everything. No, he would. It's like, oh my god, these precious robots going to waste. Oh god, no. And that, he'd just be there just to pick up the part. Pretty much, yes. And uh. be an absolute hindrance to us. That's why Mio took his gun. You are really enjoying Lance's talent, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me! Swooshy swoosh. Doesn't seem to be responding. How many unique monsters are there? I'm counting three or four back there. Holy hell! Do you think that's a bit much for a unique monster? Yeah, makes it not as unique. <laughs> yeah. I think what even hurts more is that I don't have funny names. Yeah. Like, no, that's feel like that's the first time in Xenoblade. I feel like that's a bad placement for a unique monster or ye or unique monsters. But you know, that's a minor nitpick. That's like saying, oh my god, this Pokemon game is rubbish because that one tile of grass is in a place in which it shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah, I'm not nitpicky. Just observation. There's four, if not more, unique monsters back there. That I'm is, definitely counting three at the moment. That is ridiculous. Okay, once this battle is over, just not go down that route, but just see it in full. I'd love to see how many exactly there is. Launch conquered. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Yeah, three unique monsters. No. A little bit of overkill there. Turbulent Martinez, Thunderclap Dalton, Determined Vaslav. Well, there's that. We'll deal with them later. Time for a tea break? No, it's time for a container break. Up on coins over, yes, please. That's a window. <laughs> That's a door. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I'm playing as Lance, though. What do you expect? <laughs> I didn't realize we were role playing here. <laughs> well, that's the last door. Kind of cooking area here. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? 
we could call things here. All right, and guys, next episode, we take the fight and take on the Annihilator. I'm under no illusion of what's coming up next. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please be sure to like it. And if you want to stay up to date and follow us on the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 journey, then by all means, please do subscribe to see more. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Later.